What's up everyone? Welcome back to a new video and today as you can see from the title the bucks stink. They reek. They reek big time. Um but today I'm I'm joined by Dylan. Um <sighs> so remember uh like after 3 games I asked the question is it time to panic? And you said, no, it's not. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm kind of skeptical. It's time to freaking panic. <laughs> kind of. Um, so, you know, the Bucks now have lost back-to-back -back road games against the New Orleans Pelicans. And now tonight, the goddamn Hornets. Yeah, and they also, in these back-to-back -back nights, gave up 21 threes in both games. Mm-hmm. And I also got this stat here that says um, the Bucks are giving up 18.7 threes a game in losses this season. Opponents, on average, are shooting 47% from three in losses. Uh, yeah, that's holding the team back, and we seriously need to fix that. <laughs> what What's adjustments? What are adjustments? What's t What's three point defense? What is effort? What is What is actually trying to stop them? Now I get it. There are going to be some threes that even if they are contested, they'll make it. But if you contest most of the open threes that I saw, they probably wouldn't have made it. Yeah, or they would maybe have to change the plan and have to try to drive it over them or something. <laughs> what what are adjustments? What are defensive matchups? What are what is just trying to actually win a game? Uh, you know, I got a story. I told you this before we started recording this. Um it's like we had like seventeen and they had like seven. And then I had to go do something. I come back and it's 28, 26 Hornets. I'm like, whoa, what the hell? And then they're down and the Bucks are down by like 20. And I'm like, you know what? I don't get paid enough to do this. I don't get paid at all. But I'm like, I, just, I don't know. I just, I just don't care anymore. <laughs> so... So I just turned on a different TV show. Then at halftime, we're only down by four. I'm like, okay, comeback season. And then we shit the bed in the second half. We kind of had the lead, but then they shit the bed at the end of the third quarter by just not turning the freaking ball over <sighs> so many times and then letting them get wide open freaking layups and then and ones. And don't forget the threes. <laughs> that too. But I'm like, what is this effort? What is actually trying to be good on offense? What is not turning the ball over? What is scoring? What's being efficient? You know, we had a lot of wide open threes too. Why can't we make them? Dante and Brooke. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. I, I want to pull up their stat line. Dante was 0 of 6 in the field. 0 of 5 from 3. Brooke, he was 0 of like 6 or something, but not, then he went 4 of 9. So he kind of redeemed himself late, but too late. Um, I mean, Pat Connaughton was good. He was 5 of 8 from the field and 3. So he can't yeah. really be blamed. Brent Forbes... Or no, I, uh, I was about to say Brent Forbes was 5 for 5, but that's Bobby Portis. Portis, he was 5 for 5 from the field. Um, oh, wasn't getting the ball more. <laughs> yeah. Brent Forbes, he was decent. Not great, but decent. Oh, look. It's looking like they shortened DJ Augustine's minutes and also Craig again. I don't know, dude. DJ Augustine's been a big disappointment. I was actually a huge fan of the move at the time, too. <laughs> He's probably going to get traded, and I don't blame it. I don't blame him. Or I don't blame the Bucks if they do trade him. Uh, Drew Holiday. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Drew Holiday. He 
was pretty good at the beginning. He had like our first 10 points, it felt like. And then he ended up with 21 points. Giannis, he had 34 and 18 and 9. He almost got triple it's back to back night. That's one of the more fewer positives, but that three point defense, so yeah. we're not winning to fix that. I don't get it. I just don't get it. And even looking back at the Pelicans game, we gave up a shit ton of threes too. And I heard we were even down by like twenty three. Yeah, we were. Down by like a 20 at halftime, but we came back and made it a competitive game. But the Pelicans right now are looking or making the Drew Holiday trade look like gold and highway robbery. Of course, Eric Bledsoe hit seven threes against us when we traded him. Of course, Alonzo Ball figures out how to shoot a basketball against us when he's been inefficient this whole season. Of course, you know. They would wonder for me in fantasy. <laughs> yeah, Zion Williamson. He was wonderful for me in fantasy too. Along with Giannis, of course. Uh, the balls has been pretty good for me though. <laughs> yeah. But I already knew I was winning at the end of this week, but that's not the point of the video. Um, yeah. Jeez, dude, I don't get it. I just don't get it. I mean, Dante couldn't hit a shot. We couldn't hit our threes, but they could. We had a bunch of wide open threes, even. Like, Dante, I feel like all of his threes that he missed were wide freaking open. And there was a play um, in the third quarter, I believe it was, where Chris Middleton was wide open in the corner, decides to not to shoot a three because, like, what is that? And then just pump fakes. And then drives and just throws up a shot that wasn't even close to going in. And I'm like, what in the actual hell are you doing? You have to shoot that. <laughs> I'm like, I would have shot that. I probably wouldn't have made it. But then the coach would have gone, good shot, good shot. <laughs> if I was the coach, I would have been like what the hell are you doing <laughs> uh, yeah i just don't know we need to be better on the three-point line or we need to be better shooting the ball but also defending the three on the other end and actually getting back on defense because i'm sick and tired of just watching these guys, like, there's some Lonzo Ball and Bledsoe. They can't shoot, uh, they can shoot, but, like, I don't want to see them go curry range every time I play them. <laughs> shooting seven threes and making seven threes a night. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. You got anything to say? <laughs> Um, Bucks need to fire Coach Bud. <laughs> Thank they, you. He already needs to actually learn to make adjustments. <laughs> I would make adjustments on the fly. I'd be like, okay, this isn't working. You go here, you go here. All right, this is what we're going to do. And then all of that. Bud in timeout is probably like, we need to defend the three. Now make it look like I'm doing my job. Um, <laughs> I'm going to look like I'm doing my job, okay, guys? Uh, just go out there and do whatever. Hawks fans warned us about this a couple of years ago, and I didn't see why. <laughs> and here's the thing. We're not going to fire him this season, or in the, in the regular season, because, well, he's a name. That's all he is, is a name. He's a coach of the year, that's why. He's like a name. That's it. They're gonna figure it or they're gonna hope or figure it out, figure it out by playoffs or whatever. <sighs> when that fails, then uh, they definitely better be uh fire him. <laughs> it's just like Jason Kidd all over again. Every time I watched the game we'd be giving up a mega shit ton of threes, open threes. Uh, 
Jason Kidd would be so proud. Yeah. Ugh. I don't I don't get it. I like the Bud hiring too. Like I'm like, all right, we're finally gonna turn it around. We were great the first season, but then he got exposed in the East Finals. And then we just haven't recovered, sadly. We haven't recovered. Yeah, the first year coach, but we did pretty good. But then, yeah, then they, uh, they figured us out and haven't changed. Yeah, we haven't recovered since the East Finals against the Raptors. If only Kawhi would have gotten traded to L.A. instead of Toronto, that would have been super nice. <laughs> that would have been awesome, you know? <laughs> yeah, it would have been. <laughs> uh, whatever. Can't do anything about it now, but we just need to play better defense. We need to score the ball better. Because there's also times where I see we do some dumb shit on offense, like some stupid passes that are avoidable. Which I don't think is, like, the main problem. Obviously, it's not the main problem, but, like, when they're avoidable turnovers, you gotta not do the dumb shit and just do what you do normally and just run the offense. <laughs> yeah. But... I feel like how it was with Jason Kidd towards the end, just... No life, just no energy or whatever. It just looks like it's not even just how it's time for a change. That too. The momentum. Like, whenever we go on a run, they go on a run. Our energy is zapped until it, until late. Too late. Feels like the Jason kid towards the end before he got fired. <laughs> and as you can see, there needs to be change with coaches and... Well, we'll see if the Bucks actually do it or not. <laughs> I don't even blame Drew Holiday if he doesn't sign an extension. <laughs> the Bucks' problems, in my opinion, I think are simple, too. They just need to be able to make the right moves. <laughs> exactly. That's why I hope we make some good... I hope we make some good trades at the trade deadline, get some guys, you know... I mean, he. I, I. I will say that he actually did a, do a good thing with the rotation, and is and that is giving DJ Augustine less minutes because he's been a massive disappointment. <laughs> uh, but I don't know, and, all, and he also took Cor Tory Craig back out and out of the rotation again. So this that's great. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'll, we'll have to make a trade deadline video in the future when it comes closer to that to see yeah. what guys we want, what moves should be made, and what everything needs to be done there. But I think this is going to be the end of the rant. I'm just sick of this. I'm sick of this. What A team that was supposed to be a championship team for the past three seasons, we got... They played like it this past this season, and... Well, in the bubble, I guess. Yeah. The they were actually amazing last season, last season before the bubble. <laughs> yeah. Before the bubble, I thought we would actually win it all, or if not, make the NBA Finals at least. Because, you know, we looked really, really, really good, and then the pandemic hit, and, and then we just lost all of our momentum. And then I guess the um <laughs> go to the bubble and got uh, uh, really exposed. <laughs> yeah, I just and hasn't been the same since. <laughs> and here's the thing: our last game before the season got postponed, our bench mob, and I believe Middleton played that game. I don't remember. I don't think Middleton played that last. Was it Denver? Yeah, it was that Denver game where we actually kept it close with not that many starters on the team. I think Brooke Lopez was like the only starter that played that game. So that was the last game, I believe, right before the uh, COVID stuff hit. <laughs> yeah, that's what that was like. Okay, if we can keep up with Nuggets, I think we can definitely do stuff in the playoffs. 
And then this the next day, Rudy Gobert tested positive and shit hit the fan real quick. <laughs> but all right, I think we're gonna end it here. Um, yeah, get your shit together, Bucks. That's all I gotta say. That's the rest of what I'm gonna say. Get your shit together now. The box and mainly this goes towards Coach Bud as well. <laughs> that too. That too. That's that's another thing too. Uh, John Horst, you got a lot of decisions to make come the trade deadline, but we'll talk about that when it comes closer. Yep, he's got some decisions to have to make, I think. <laughs> uh, I feel like they're in the locker room right now with that SpongeBob episode. We stink! We stink! <laughs> we stink! We stink. Guess what, John Horst? We stink. Yeah. I reek. Smell me. <laughs> uh, uh, but we stink. But that's going to be the end of it. Make sure to like this video. Leave a comment. Subscribe for more content. And we're out. Peace.